Hi, and welcome to CardioFit. My name is Jennifer Menzer, and this is my colleague, Susan Rudin. And we are taking you through the glide workout today. So the whole workout will involve sliding and gliding to tone, strengthen, and lengthen our muscles. Um, so normally we only require a mat, but today we're actually going to ask you to grab either two paper plates or styrofoam plates. Um, if you don't have those, not a problem. You can use two towels, or if you already own some fitness equipment and you have glide boards, you can use the glide boards as well. So feel free to hit pause now and then either go grab two paper plates, two small kitchen towels or washcloths and or furniture gliders or any exercise gliding equipment. All right, I'm guessing you have your plans. So let's grab onto our plates first. Susan, we'll start there. Okay. Now, Jen, if I don't have paper plates at home, will like the plastic plates work? Yep, the red. plastic plates, paper plates, okay. styrofoam plates. They're great because they'll work on wood floors and carpeting. Um, sometimes the towels don't slide as well on like a big shaggy carpet, but um, plastic or paper plates will work perfectly. So we're gonna start by taking a deep breath in, bring the arms up to the ceiling. And exhale down. Once again, deep breath in. Keep a slight bend in the knees. And exhale down. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale down. Good. Let's reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling. Interlace the fingers, reaching the palms up to the ceiling. And then exhale over to your left side. Oh, stretch feels good. Stay for the inhale breath. Bring it back up to center. Inhale here, this time over your right side. Take it over. One more inhale breath. And let's exhale, bring it up and bring the arms back down. Good. Now we'll bring the arms in front, one palm on top of the other, slight bend in the elbows, and then push forward as you round the back, looking down toward your belly button. Shoulders are dropped down away from the ears, soft knees, and then gently release and bring the arms behind you interlacing to stretch out the chest. Good, so we're just gonna warm up the upper body here. We'll warm up the lower body a little more actively. And release. Let's take it overhead for a tricep press. Bring your left arm up first, and then grab either behind the elbow or directly in front, but never on a joint, and gently press down. And then let's switch sides. and release. So we're gonna start off by warming up with some speed skaters. So we'll slide out to the left, out to the right, out to the left, out to the right. You can move the hands like Susan and I are doing or you can just kind of keep your hands up here in guard position. Whatever feels better for you. We're just gonna warm up the legs. Good, keep the abs tight, shoulders down away from the ears. And we're gonna start adding our punch sequence. We're gonna start with the arms punching up to the ceiling, then in front, then to the side for eight counts. Then we'll move to four counts, and then to two. So we're gonna start with your left side, our right side, straight up to the ceiling. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're coming to the front end punch forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight and cross, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, punch it up for four. Core is strong. And to the front, four. Water bottle tacks. And to the side. Four, two, two, one, forward, two, one, side, two, and one, and slow it down. Ah, nice and warm, I hope. Okay, first exercise is going to be a stationary squat. Hands can either be on the hips, behind the head, or reaching straight out in front. We're here for 30 seconds. No sliding just yet. Find a nice stable position. Hips are directly over the ankles. Smile, and here we go. Squat it down. Squeeze the glutes. Good. Push up and squeeze. Heels and butt. Good, 15 more seconds. Keep it going. Excellent. Last 10 seconds here. Squeeze the glutes, opening up the hip flexors. 
straightening the legs, but still keeping a soft knee as opposed to a hyperextension in the knee. Good, last one, and come up. Next exercise, we're gonna start on your left side, our right side. It'll be squat, reach the leg out, come back center, and stand up. Ready, Sue? Ready. Here we go. Down, out, in, and up. Good, we're here for 30 seconds. Awesome, take your time. Opening through the inner leg line, squeezing the glutes, quads, lower back, hamstrings, calves. Heart rate is definitely up. I know I'm already warm. We've got another 10 seconds here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna isolate that side leg, working inner and outer thigh, abductor, adductor. Come on down for the squat. Here we go, out and in. Good, take your time. Doesn't need to be speedy. Slight bend in the stationary leg. Try to keep the toes forward and in line. They tend to want to laterally rotate. Try to keep that hip forward. Try to keep the toes forward. Parallel movement, good. We have five more seconds here. Three more, two more, and one, and bring it up. Good, if you felt that stationary leg, then it was working. So we're gonna move to the other side now. Squat, laterally push out, back in, and then stand it up. Whew, ready? Ready. Here we go. Squat, out, in, and up. Good. Same rules apply here. Toes are forward, hips are forward. Lift up, squeeze through the glutes, opening up the hip flexors. Excellent, you guys are doing great. Just 15 more seconds. If you ever need to take a break, take a break. In 30 seconds, if you take out five, you still have 25 seconds of great work happening. We've got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we've got that iso squat and the side lunge press out. Ready? Ready. Let's bring it down. Here we go. Oof. Push, push, good. Take a look at your toes. Make sure they're facing forward. We're trying to avoid that lateral turnout, and not that it's a bad thing, but we want to work the whole leg as opposed to just doing the inner thighs. We want inner thigh, outer thigh, and then on this leg, definite quad, I'm sure you're feeling it, glutes, hamstrings, and all those smaller muscles in the toes and the heels. Five seconds more. Four, three, two, and one, and bring it up. Ooh, Nicely done. Fire. Yeah, big time. All right, we're gonna take it down to the floor now and come into our Pilates circuit. So if you need, grab some water, maybe unwrap your mat because we are gonna come into a seated position and we'll meet you there in just a moment. Okay, so we're on our mats. Susan and I folded the mats in two just so it gives us a little bit more room. So if you have a huge room or a designated exercise studio, feel free to keep it long. But if you're working out in the hotel or in your living room, maybe fold up the mat. It's also a little cushionier too. So we're gonna start out with mermaid. So you're going to bring one of your legs folded in kind of in a half Sukhasana or crisscross applesauce position, and the other leg goes back in half of a Virasana or kind of like that funky M position. So we're folded in, and then we're gonna place one hand on one of our gliders. We've moved over to towels because we're not sure if you're using paper plates or towels or gliders. So we're gonna kind of intersperse and use all three just so you can see how versatile all of these easy to find in the house tools are. So we'll start out with mermaid and you can push one to the side and then one of them are going to be on the floor directly in line with your shoulder. We're gonna inhale to lift the left arm up. On the exhale, side bend and then slide and press the right arm. Inhale to lift using your obliques and your lats, and then lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, side bend and press away. Feel the obliques working. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, really reach the arm, but be careful to keep the shoulder girdle down and away from the ears so we're not hyperextending or elevating the shoulder blades too high. Inhale, lift and exhale lower. Good, let's do four more here. Inhale, lift the arm. Exhale, side bend, fire in those obliques right here. Use the obliques to inhale, lift, pull through the underneath the armpit for the lat muscles to work. 
Inhale, exhale, press out. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Good, we've got two more. Inhale, exhale, side bend. Stay nice and long. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift. Bend over like a teapot so you're staying straight. Shoulders stacked on top of the other. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Now we're going to add a little bit of a twist or a thread the needle. Ready, Sue? Mm -hmm. Inhale, lift. Exhale, side bend and press away. Inhale, twist, thread the left arm underneath the right. Come back so that your shoulders are stacked one on top of the other, and then return to the beginning. Inhale, exhale, side bend. <sighs> Inhale, twist. Exhale, come back to stacked shoulders and then lift and return. Arm comes up, exhale, side bend, press away. Inhale, twist. Exhale, come back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, the arms down. Good, four more. Inhale up, exhale, side bend. Inhale, twist. Exhale, come together. Lift and return, last three. Inhale, tall. Exhale, side bend. Shoulders are down and engaged. Come back. Facing forward, lift and lower. Last two. You should feel your lats, your triceps, your obliques. Good. Inhale, lift and lower. One more time. Exhale, side bend. Twist. Come to center, facing forward, lift and down. Awesome. Nicely done. All right, we're gonna take both of our towels now and go into a little bit more of just an isolated lat slide. We're gonna add the leg for an abduction or an extension or press out away from the body. Abduct, just like you're taking something away. So, both hands are gonna rest onto the towel. We're gonna bring the knees so that they're stacked or staggered one on top of the other. And then as we press the towel away, we're gonna shoot the leg out and away, top leg. We use the bottom leg for our stability and support. So it'll look like this. Exhale, reach out. Inhale, pull it in. Ready, partner? Ready. Okay, here we go. Press it out. And in, we're here for 30 seconds. Predominantly working the lat that's closer to the floor, the one that we've been working the whole time, which is our right, your left. But you're also working the left arm as well for stabilization and support. And we're also the floor. Yes, we are. <laughs> Keep pressing out through strong leg. Notice that my toes are flexed. I'm pressing with the heels. We've got 10 more seconds here. You don't need to keep looking up at the camera or the TV as it goes. You can continue to look down in between the towels. Let's make this one our last one and pull it up. Good, we're gonna switch sides. So switch the legs. Let's bring both towels over, although we only need one to start. And then we'll come into our mermaid. They seem like they're gonna be easy and they look like it in the beginning, but then you really feel that aching in the lat and then all the way down the side body and you know that you're doing a good thing. Let's inhale to lift the arm up. Exhale, side bend, press away. Again, keep the shoulder down and depressed so you have a neck. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Feel free to come up to tented fingers if you wish. Inhale, lift, exhale, side bend, press away. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Here's three. Good. Use the obliques and the arm to push away and lift you. Good. Slide, 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 slide. You should really feel the obliques working there. Inhale, lift. Exhale, slide and press away right here. Engage and lift. Down. Let's do two more. Don't forget the breathing. The breathing is paramount, especially in Pilates. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the lips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. The reason why we do that is because just breathing out through the mouth engages the core muscles. So even if you're just breathing, you're doing Pilates. Good. All right, now we're gonna add that thread the needle. Inhale, exhale, side bend. Inhale, twist. Exhale, come back to center, stacking. Lift the crown of the head, place the arm back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over. Inhale, twist. Come back to center, lift and lower. Good, lift. Side bend, use those abs. 
twist. We're adding compression, so we're taking away blood and then adding clean oxygenated blood when we release the compression. Lift and down, lift it up. Side bend, press away. Twist, come back center, lift and lower. Inhale, Sue, how many more do we have? Uh, Twist. Ball. <laughs> lift up, yeah. it's fun to stump the I'm friend. The oh good, we love it. Yeah. Twist it through, come to the center, lift and lower, let's do one more here. Inhale, exhale, side bend press. Thread your needle, come back center, lift the arms up and down. Whew. Nicely done. Getting a little sweat? A little bit. All righty. Let's grab our second towel or plate or glide board and then bring the legs one on top of the other. So again, we're going to extend that top leg out, abduct it, flex the foot strongly, just like you're kicking the wall away. That's going to really strengthen through the quads, calves, tibialis anterior, whole leg line. Let's inhale, bring that knee in, and then exhale, press away. Pull it in, good. Pulling the knee in also works lower abs, obliques, and the lower back erectors. Press it out, pull it in. Feel free to gaze down to the floor or forward and ahead. And if you're doing this with a friend, feel free to smile, stick your tongue out at them because they're working just as hard as you. A little competition's always good, right? Press it out. We've got 15 seconds here. Press and reach. Take time to notice if your shoulders are starting to rise up to your ears. If they're up, shrug them down. Five seconds. Let's do three more. Two more. One, and release. Ah, nicely done. From here, we're gonna move to the hundreds. So traditionally, there's a pressing of the hands in the air, but we're gonna use the glide boards or our towels here to actually mimic a little bit of a reach. So we're gonna continue to depress the scapula down, 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 with a slight bend in the elbows. So bring your gliders to either side of your mat, and then let's come down onto our backs. We're in a tabletop position, head, neck, and shoulders are either down for option one, or head, neck, and shoulders are up to make it a little bit more challenging. Let's bring the legs up to tabletop position, knees are directly over the hips, and then the hands are onto your towel or your glide board. We're gonna do little small pulses forward. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, Five, and exhale. Inhale, looking at the knees. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, think about drawing the navel down to the floor. Beautiful, Susan. And exhale, two, three, good, four, five. You can either stay here or you can extend both legs or maybe just one leg to make it a little bit more challenging. Longer the lever, harder the work. Good, you're more than halfway there. Beautiful, Susan, you've got 30 more. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Pull the navel down to the spine. Last 20, two, three, four, five, and maybe one leg, it's up to you. We have the last 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Inhale, curl up, hold. Exhale, lower all the way down, hug the knees into the chest and breathe. Okay, next exercise and the last one on our Pilates circuit are going to be half snow angels. So this is an exercise that I do with my clients on the reformer. We're gonna mimic it here using our towels and our gliders. So the arms will come out to the sides like a T. And then as we bring the hands back to the hips, we crunch up. Inhale, shoulder blades come down. Exhale, we crunch up. The gaze is right at the knees. Get set up. If you need to bring hands behind the head to support, you can do one arm and then switch off anytime you need. All right. Ready guys? Here we go. And press, curl up. Arms open to a T, curl it up. Arms open and abs like an accordion. 
from the tops of the ribs all the way down to the hip bones are curling into a flex position to get the rectus abdominals firing. We're working transverse abdominals, which is our internal weight belt, as well as the obliques, cervical and neutral, working the spine, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. We've got just 10 more seconds, so keep going. If you need to support the head, support the head with one or both hands. Five seconds, stay strong, four more. Notice if the knees are moving in like mine were, correct them. Knees over the hips. Let's make this one last. Pull it up, hold, and lower all the way down. <sighs> Now's a good time to grab some water. So let's take a little water break and we'll meet you back on the mat. All right, welcome back. So you'll notice now that we've folded the mat into fours. And we've done that just to give the wrists a little bit more of a cushioning stability. If you're on a carpet, it's up to you if you want to even use the mat. You don't have to in this one. We're going to be starting out prone, which is face down into a high plank position. So let's bring our hands down. And then we're going to start with the left leg first. The left leg is going to go up to what you would consider nine o'clock, then through the body to three o'clock, back to nine and six. Here we go, 30 seconds. Lots of core, lots of leg. Shoulders are directly over the wrist creases. Fingertips are splayed nice and long. Booty is tight, abs engaged. Gaze is either directly down to the floor or just about six inches in front of your hands. We've got enough time for just about two more here. Make them good, one more. And let's bring it down, knees down, press back. Little mini break. But well, we wanna keep the heart rate up, so we're gonna go right into that other side. Here we go. Hands over the shoulders. This time we're going three o'clock, nine o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock. We're up, in, out, and down. Good, so using inner thigh, outer thigh, using all the muscles of the glutes, sartorius, piriformis, all these fun names I do this diagonal movement for the legs, isometrically working the core, shoulders, wrists, hands. We've got about enough time for two more, make them good. Last one. And bring it down, press back. The next exercise we're going to do are hamstring curls. So we've laid the mats out lengthwise to give our back a little bit of cushioning, and then we're gonna come down to the floor. Heels are onto the glide boards or onto your towels, whatever you're using. And then we're gonna lift the hips up, press the legs straight out, slide them back in, and lower down. We're here for 30 seconds. Get ready, this one's a good one for the hamstrings. Lift, slide out, bring it in, and down. Lift, slide out, pull it in, and down. Good. You can choose to keep your hands down on the floor and press into the pinkies and into the elbows, but if you don't want to use any part of the arms, you can bend the elbows or to really make these challenging arms up and down. You can see I can't quite do it yet. I need a little bit of the hands. Lift it out, press hamstring curl down. Good, you are working the abs if you were wondering why your abs might be sore on this. You are working abs lower back, glutes, hamstrings. Sue, we've got time for one more. Really squeeze, pull it in, and down. All right, we're gonna single it out. So press through both heels, lift up, and we're gonna alternate between left, right, left, right. Slide them out. The squeeze the, the butt. Glutes are up the All whole right. time. They're Work up. in the lower back, squeezing through hamstrings, calves. Ah, oh, abdominals working, obliques working. 10 more seconds, stay with it. Try to keep the hips lifted. Hot fire underneath the booty, don't burn your buns. Four seconds, three, two, one, and down. Ah, oh, feel free to hug the cheeks. Um, <laughs> feel free to hug the knees into the chest. Sorry, I was think, still, still thinking about these cheeks being tired. Hug the knees in, maybe give it a little rock side to side. Ah, and then we're gonna flip it over for some grasshoppers. So we're gonna bring the forearms back down onto our mat 
and then we're going to dynamically thread the legs through in a quicker motion than we did on the first exercise when we threaded it. You can either be down onto the forearms or up onto the hands. I'm gonna tell you that forearms is going to be a little bit harder. Plank position, and then you slide the leg through. Slide the leg through. Underneath, so you're going nine o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock, three o'clock. If you wanna come up onto high arms, you can. This definitely gives you a little bit more space to slide the legs through. Do whatever is comfortable. Although comfort, <laughs> not the biggest thing here. This is all challenge. I was gonna say. Yeah, this is not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. Five seconds, four, <laughs> three, two, and one. Let's bring it down. Ah, good. The last exercise in our circuit is the pike. The only thing different between the pike and the knee tuck is using straight legs as opposed to bending your knees. So we're gonna come down onto our forearms. Come into plank position. You'll notice that Susan's going to take the high plank version. Straighten the legs out, and then here we go. Lift it up and down. Nice and strong in the abs, strong in the core. And if you find that you're having trouble bringing your legs in close, you can prop your arms up either on yoga blocks or an ottoman or couch cushions or maybe two handles that you use for push-ups, and that'll help to get the hip flexors coming into the body a little bit more. If they're feeling tight, We've got 10 more seconds, stay strong. Keep lifting and lowering. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the abs. Change doesn't happen unless we challenge ourselves. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Let's bring it down. Whew, that was a hard circuit. Take time, grab some water, and then we'll meet you back for a really fun glide board yoga flow. All right, so. We've chosen to use the towels here. Again, we're just changing it up. We're gonna take it through a little bit of a vinyasa flow with a glide. Let's inhale the arms up. On the exhale, swan dive forward. Let's inhale to a flat back. On the exhale, plant the hands, and then slide back to plank pose. Bend the knees, drop them down. Lower down through low push-up. Inhale, lift to cobra pose. And then on the exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look between the thumbs, and then slide it forward. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Good, we're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, sweep the arms up and back. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back. On the exhale, plant the hands, slide back. Feel free to keep knees up this time. Inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low push-up. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And then exhale, slide back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look between the hands. On the exhale, slide it forward. Inhale, rise up to standing. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, so our first transition, we're gonna be moving between chair pose and plank pose. Feet are going to be as close together as possible, probably about, you know, just two towel distances apart. Let's inhale to sweep the arms up as we sit back into our chair, and we're gonna hold here, breathing through the nose, breathing in and out. Finding that ujjayi breath in the back of the throat, squeezing the glutes, knees are over, the ankles or just above, but make sure you can see your toes. From here, hands come down to the floor, slide to plank. Good, breathe here, be here. Eyes of the elbows face one another, so there's a slight bend in the elbows, triceps are engaged. Let's slide it back, and then come right immediately back into our chair pose. We've got four rounds of this, so lots of isolation. Isometric contractions, which basically means that there's no movement happening, but the muscles are still working without flexion or extension, it's isolation. Let's bring it down, second plank. Slide it back and hold. So this is isometrics at its finest. No movement, but engagement of the muscles. Let's slide it in, coming to our third chair pose, Utkatasana also called awkward pose for a good reason. Think about turning the pinkies in, shoulders down away from the ears. 
Come down to our plank pose here. Slide it back. Nice and strong in the core. Eyes of the elbows facing one another. Let's bring it in. How you doing, Sue? I'm good. Sweep the me. arms up. Oh yeah. See if you can sit lower. This is our last round. And hold. Squeeze the buttocks. Work the quads. Three, two, and one. Bring the hands down. Plank pose. Hold here. Let's count. 10, nine, eight, seven. What number are we on? That's right, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees and press back, child's pose. <sighs> okay, let's bring it up slowly. Walk the hands to the feet, feet to the hands. Hang in ragdoll, slight bend in the elbows and the knees. Shake it out side to side, and then let's rise it all the way up. The next sequence we're moving into is going to be crescent pose to horse pose or goddess pose, which is just like a wide plie squat. So we're gonna do four on each side, starting with the right leg coming back first. So we'll slide the right leg back, inhale the arms up, crescent pose, and then from here, the right leg will slide back up, but wider, laterally rotated in the feet. Hands come through heart center, goddess pose. Check out the ankles. You want the feet and the ankles, knees, everything in line. Working the inner leg line, working quads, glutes, obliques, working the biceps and tricep with, again, this isometric contraction, this pressing in of the hands and the elbows. Let's bring it back to our crescent pose. Be here, breathe here, check in with your alignment. Sometimes on the slides, it can get a little crazy, maybe a little out of alignment, just fix it. No big deal. Stay for one more inhale breath, work the isometric contractions, and then let's bring it back up and bring it back down. Good, check with your alignment, take a moment to fix it, get in line, and then squat down. Squeezing inner leg line, squeezing into the hands, working the hands, the forearm, shoulders, triceps. Let's press it back, crescent pose. Whew. Heat building, that's exactly what this feels like. So we're not doing huge movements like we were before, but these build up just as much heat, just as much length and strength. Let's move into our third goddess pose on this side. Feet, and then slide it down. Good, check in with the ankle, knees. Press the hands into feet, feet into hands. Let's do one more. Goddess pose to crescent lunge. Again, remember to turn the pinkies in, shoulders down. If you want to take a back bend here, you can. Look up to the ceiling, reach the arms back, or just stay center. Last goddess pose, slide it out, and bring it down. Good, work in those legs. Be here, breathe here. One more inhale, exhale, breath. Let's bring the legs straight up and then slide them together, shake it out. Sneaky, aren't they? Ooh. <laughs> All right, other side. We're gonna slide left leg back, sweep the arms up, crescent pose. And then I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit just to give us enough room. And then slide that left leg forward and out. Goddess pose. And if you wanna change it up a little bit, you can bring the arms out to the sides to say stop in the name of love, still isometrically working the arms. Second set, let's bring it up, slide it back. Good, you're on the ball of the foot, on the back foot, so your heel is the same height as the toes, so they're stacked one on top of the other. And then let's come into our second goddess pose here. Hands are either heart center, or you can bring it out to the sides. Press it out. Line the heels up with the knees. I'm sliding. <laughs> Third goddess pose. Yeah, you really have to use that inner leg line oh, yeah. to keep from sliding. Reach it back. So the slide board here makes these a lot more challenging than it would be if we were just stationary. Oh yeah. All right, let's open up the legs. Goddess pose. 
lower it down. Good. So if you feel it sliding, squeeze the buns, squeeze the inner thighs. All right, last crescent pose. Let's bring the arms up and bring it back. Remember to stack heel over balls of the feet on the back foot. Knee is in line with pinky toe. If it gets a little out of whack, just come back to it. Fix your form. And then, last time, goddess pose. We're gonna hold here for eight seconds. So set up. Here we go. Bring it down and hold for eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze and zip up those thighs. Three, two, and one. Bring it up. Bring the legs together. And then let's come into a forward fold. <sighs> Soften the knees. Body weight over the balls of the feet and the heels. <sighs> and let's slowly rise it up, one vertebrae at a time. And stay down by your sides, palms face forward. <sighs> All right. Our last sequence is gonna be a little quicker. Four on each side. We're going to move from warrior two, side angle, lunge, switch the legs, and then lunge, side angle, warrior two. So we're going in and then coming back out the same way we came. So let's set up for warrior two first. Left leg in front, right leg in back. Back leg is perpendicular to the front leg, and the front leg has a nice generous bend in the knee. So here we are in second warrior two position. We're gonna bring the hand down to the forearm to start for the first one, modified side angle pose. And then from here, down to the lunge. Hands down, here's the fun part, switch. Good, plant the back heel. Modified side angle pose. And then bring it up, warrior two. Nothing changes except for the upper body. Good. Here we go, round two. Bring it back down, side angle pose. Either down to forearm or all the way down to the inside leg line. Left hand comes down. Lunge position. Switch. Sorry, I love sound effects. They make me happy. From here, hand comes in. Side angle pose. If I look a little funny, it's because my microphone's in my hip, so I apologize. And then come up, warrior two. Technology. All right, here we go. We're on round three. Bring it down, side angle pose. Lunge position. Do the switch. Plant the back foot. Plant the hand. Reach it up. Woo! A little balance. Slide boards. Here we go, warrior two, bring it up. Squeeze inner leg line. It's hard on the slide boards. And then bring it back down. Lunge position. Last switch of the day. Here we go. Inside leg line. Plant the back foot. Reach the arm up. Warrior two. And then we're gonna vinyasa through child's pose. Bring both hands down, high plank pose. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, and child's pose. <sighs> Now's a great time to grab some water and then we'll meet you back for another circuit. We're gonna take it down for um, a prone, which is face down, upper body series. So we're gonna start off first with some chest flies. So you can be either on your knees, which we're gonna start out on knees, and you can always come up onto toes as you progress and get stronger. We're gonna do a chest fly. Both hands come down onto the plates. We lean forward and then the arms slide out and back in. If this is too challenging, slide one arm out and back in. Take your time, go at your own pace. Core strong, hip flexors open, and here we go. Slide it out and in. Good, shoulders are over the wrist creases, even as they're sliding out. Nose comes down to the floor. Remember, if you need to, you modify by bringing one arm out and in, and then the other arm out and in. We're more than halfway there, so really stay with it. You can also back up and bring the tushy up and modify here as well. We've got five more seconds. Stay strong. Three seconds, two, and one. Take it back, child's pose. Little stretch of the arms. 
Now we're gonna bring the left arm on top of the right and get a little bit of a lat stretch here. Slide it over. And then switch other side. Right arm on top of left. And then let's come back to center. Good. Okay. Now we're gonna move into a push-up knee tuck. So we can move our towels out of the way for a moment. We're gonna combine the knee tucks that we did before with our push-ups. So the feet are gonna come onto our plates or whatever you're using for your gliders. Line up the hands, come into plank pose. 30 seconds on the clock, here we go. Knees in and knees out, push up, up. Knees in and knees out, push up. Good. Keep the hands directly under the shoulders. Beautiful push up. Pull the knees in, work the abdominals. Take your time. Beautiful plank from shoulders all the way down to ankles. We've got five more seconds here. Really nice, Sue. Full push ups, or you can drop your knees here. Make this your last one, and then come on down. Awesome. Nicely done. All right. Now we're going to do what. Um, if you've ever seen Karate Kid, we call the wax on, wax offs. So we're gonna bring our hands back onto the plates and come to either plank pose or modified plank with the knees down onto your towels or your ottoman or your doubled up mat. So we're gonna do hands onto your glide boards, come into that modified push up position or plank position, and then we slide out twice out twice, and then in twice, in twice. So I'm gonna come up for knees for a few and then come down just so you can see both modifications. And then here we go, pick it up. Starting on the left or right? Starting on the left, okay. here we go. Wax on, wax on, circle in, circle in, good. This is a lot of core strength as well as cardiovascular endurance. You're working the smaller muscles of the arms, forearm flexors, triceps, shoulders, lats, all the muscles of the abdomen, lower back. Good, let's do one more round. Out to the left, out to the right, into the left, into the right, and bring it down. Good, feel free to sit it back for a moment. Unstick from your plates, <laughs> exactly. And then now we're going to do opposite elbow, opposite knee. So we're gonna do plate left hand, plate right foot. Both hands are stacked directly underneath the shoulders. The knee that's staying stable and stationary, you can place on any padded surface. And then we're going to extend the arm long leg long with the plates, and then pull in knee to elbow. Extend long, knee to elbow. Keep the stationary arm, which is this arm right here, with a slight bend in the elbow, so that you're working the muscles and not collapsing into the joint. Shoulders down away from the ears, working the obliques here for that cross elbow to knee action, as well as isometrically working abs, low back, Nice, strong core. Let's do eight seconds. Good, keep it moving. Last three, two, one knee to elbow, and bring it down. Let's switch. All right, extend the arm with the plate long, extend the leg with the plate long. Stabilizing hand, slight bend in the elbow, so you're working. Watch that tricep pop out, we wanna get her going. Here we go, knee in, elbow, extend. Knee to elbow, extend. Good, round the spine like a rainbow. When you crunch in to really work those abs, get the lower parts of the abdominals, that bottom of the eight pack, it's always the hardest to get formulated and really to pop out. We're gonna engage through the whole Spine as we come into complete flexion and then back out to a neutral. Good, we've got five more seconds here. Three more, you can do this. Two, make this your last one, and down. Good, take a little rest. And then we're gonna move the plates to our feet for a plank pose abduction. 
which is again working the outer thighs. We're going to take the legs away and then pull them right back in. So you can bring your forearms down onto anything padded. Move your gliders, which are the plates, underneath the feet. And then Sue and I are going to stagger a little bit so we don't kick each other. That part. <laughs> Sometimes it's the best part. <laughs> Good. So I'm going to come down onto forearms. So I'm going to give you a choice. You need to be up on high arms or down. Yeah, awesome. All right. Let's come to our plank pose. And then open the legs. Close them and bring them in. I think these are really fun. They're great for working the butt, especially the glute medius, that outside part of the tush. And what we lovingly refer to as saddlebags. So we're really working those. If you're up in plank, your shoulders are over your hands. And if you're down, shoulders are over the elbows. Core is strong. Try not to lift up into teepee butt. Try to stay nice and long from shoulders to feet. Got to do about five seconds here. Four more. Draw the navel into the spine. Two more. And one. Let's bring it down and press back. Woo. Nicely done. All right. We are coming to... The big one, we're going to combine the knee tuck that we've done with the push-up that we've done and the AV duction that we've done. We normally go for time. Instead, we're gonna go for a number. We're gonna shoot for six good ones. They take about 30 seconds. So we're gonna do these together and I'll be really successful at the end. So let's get set up. All you need is your gliders. You can get everything else out of the way. So we're gonna start in plank pose. First knee tuck, slide the legs out. Abduction, and then push up. Ready, Sue? Sorta. <laughs> Here we go. Plank pose, we've got six. You can do six. Knee tucks first. Abduction, push up. There's one. Knee tuck, abduction, push up. There's two. Knee tuck, abduction, push up. Three, halfway there. Knee tuck, abduction, abs tight, push up, draw that navel in. Last three. Last two. Last one, here we go. Knee tuck, abduction, push up and down. Woo! Nicely done. Let's give the wrists a little bit of a break. So we're gonna bend the wrists down and bring them up and then float them down. It looks silly, but it really is a great wrist release. Slide it up, and then down, up, and then down. Good. Now we're gonna give a little gentle press, and then switch sides, little gentle press, and then flip it, press it back. Oh, this one feels good. Release. Other side, press it back and release. The slide workouts don't give you a rest because you're constantly moving between flexion, extension, isolation. So it's important that if you start getting a little funky in the wrists, shoulders, elbows, stop the tape, take a break. He <laughs> tape, <laughs> I just aided myself. Uh, stop the webcast. All right, so we're gonna move into our final sequence. So now's a great time to grab some water and then Grab your mat, and we'll see you in a moment. Nice job, you made it through. This is probably one of the hardest workouts that we've done so far, so give yourself a good thumbs up, a nice clap, maybe a little pat, and know that each time you do this, it's gonna get better, you're going to get better, you're gonna get stronger, and leaner, tougher. Her. All right, let's take it down. Deep breath up and in, and exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale to a flat back. On the exhale, plant the hands. Walk it back, high plank pose. Drop the knees, lower chest down in a baby chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose. Oh, feels good on the back. And then press back through child's pose. And then to downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up and back. On the exhale, we're gonna to come to pigeon pose, bringing your right ankle towards your left wrist, and then the knee comes down. <clears throat> Back knee comes down, and then the foot comes down. 
Take a moment to check out and make sure the leg is straight and the foot is not sickling, which is when it tends to curve. So you can get that foot nice and straight, toes to the back of the mat. From here, this is where you can either stay or you can come and bring your elbows down to the floor. And if that flexibility isn't there, just like before, you can bring your elbows onto the ottoman if the hip flexors are a little tight, just like we were doing in the pike and the knee tuck positions. So from here, drop the head, drop the shoulders, just let it rest. No reason to look up at the TV or at your computer screen. Hmm. Just give it a few breaths here. You deserve job well done. Hmm. Drop the right hip down to the floor and then spin the left leg in front. Let's take a seated forward fold here Inhale the arms up to the ceiling. On the exhale, bend forward, and then grab onto ankles, shins, feet, maybe the big toes. Let the elbows drop, let the head be heavy. One more inhale breath. On the exhale, slowly curl the spine up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders, neck, and head last to come up, stacked over the hips. Let's bring the left leg up and across over right. Bring the right arm up to the ceiling, and then bring the right elbow on the outside of the left knee, keeping the palm up. And you can bring Yogi Peace fingers if you'd like. Inhale, grow taller and then twist the spine so that you're looking over your left shoulder. Draw your navel in, lift even taller. See if you can get a little extra squeeze. Think about wringing out a towel. Gently release, come back to forward, and then switch legs. Arm up, elbow. Baby Yogi Peace Fingers, lift, draw the navel in, and twist to the back. One more inhale breath. See if you can bring it out just a little bit more. Think about twisting over that right shoulder. And then release. Good. Let's make our way back to downward facing dog. And then we've got pigeon on the other side. Left leg comes up and back. On the exhale, step it through. Shin to wrist. And place the back foot down nice and long. And then check out the foot. Make sure that the foot is straight back. And then you can come down onto your forearms, onto an ottoman, couch cushion, a few yoga blocks if you have them. And then just let the head be heavy. Hmm. Now's the time to think about what brought you to your mat today? What motivated you to join us with this exercise? Maybe you're just looking for a little bit more cardiovascular endurance, maybe some more flexibility. Maybe you want guns like Cameron Diaz or uh, our first lady. Let's bring the hips down, swing the leg in front. Gotta love Michelle Obama's arms. They're pretty jacked. Inhale the arms up to the ceiling. And then exhale, fold it forward. Focus on the breath. Letting the body cool down, coming back to homeostasis. And let's bring it all the way onto our backs. Bend the knees. And then hug the knees into the chest. Let's straighten the right leg and then bring the left leg up and over the right, coming into a full spinal twist. Gaze is either up to the ceiling or it can be over your left shoulder. Let's come back to center, hugging both knees in once again. This time straighten the left leg and then bring the right leg up and over. Gaze is either straight up to the ceiling or this time over the right shoulder. Come 
back to center. And then extend the legs nice and long. Extend the arms down by your sides, palms face up. <sighs> Shavasana, final resting pose. We thank you for joining us. Feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as it feels good to do so. And then we'll see you next week. I'm Jen. Nice job, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.